Welcome to the Weekly Hijack. Hello, everyone. Our first episode tonight of the Lost Rewatch is Maternity Leave. You know, when I started this episode, I'm like, oh, it's just a clear episode. But there's a lot of stuff in this episode. There is a lot. The main plot, I'm feeling um, rather disqualified to talk about, <laughs> <laughs> like, and you know, all this, because something just special happened in your and Natasha's life. Right? Yes. Yeah, we just got a new TV. Yeah, yeah no. it's a very nice TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just had our uh, third kid, our our daughter, Mercy. Yes. Hey, Natasha, say something You're right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there. She, she's alive. She's doing well. <laughs> it was bizarre to me watching this, knowing that you guys had just gone through a birth and having a new baby in the life. Well, and... it was funny. When we were watching it, you know, right when we started, Mercy started crying. And then when she stopped, immediately Claire's baby starts crying on the TV. Yeah. It was like echoes. It was very interesting. <laughs> So what do you feel about Claire and Natasha? What do you mean, what do I feel about her? What do you give Ethan your baby? <laughs> she was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha is very post-pregnancy chill right now. Yeah, she <laughs> <laughs> So. So, okay. Well, anyway. Well, it was, well, yeah, it was a nice episode to start off because this was the first episode since we had the kid. Mm-hmm. So. But yeah, there, there's a lot going on in terms of lost mythology here and revelations. It's and interesting. Is this? It probably isn't, but I, I just know it's, it's one of the first, at least one of the first episodes where the entire flashback is on, on the island. island. Yeah, yeah. The only other one, I guess the the other 48 days. I guess, yeah, that's true, but that's, that's kind but of... But that was an unusual... I mean, yeah. that whole that whole thing was a flashback. Yeah. This is, yeah, certainly unusual in the way it's it's done and... That that same weird sequence every time, every time. Well, it's interesting though because it's like they they explain one or two more of the images. Yeah, every time. I mean, it was a real well thought out edit. Mm-hmm. I just wish they didn't have to include like the world's longest needle every <laughs> single time. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. But um, it's neat to see an episode about Claire. That's I mean, it's about her baby, but it's not. So, like, you get to see her off on her own little adventure, which she doesn't get to do very often. Yeah. Um, She's usually the one getting kind of... Girls night out, basically. (laughs) Essentially, yeah. Only needed son in there, and it would have been about perfect. She was a babysitting duty. Yeah. It's funny. I even had almost forgotten about Libby until they Mm -hmm. went up to her and started talking. It's like, oh, yeah, Libby. And it's it's the one to watch that part. Yeah. Yeah. Since we had gotten to them. There's a lot of there's a lot of things now you look at like oh that's obvious that back in the day, <laughs> like I mean, there's this look son gets when Claire asks you are you a mother yeah that comes into play a couple episodes from now I think well and son herself saying mother should leave her child <laughs> like, like oh. uh. and then little things like they play later like the the mobile mobile mm-hmm. has the catch a falling star or. What is with the others, with that crazy mobile, anyway, with, with the 747s, the This plane? is oceanic on it, doesn't it? it looks I like think it, it did. That's horrible. Like, is that some sort of dark joke? Like, <laughs> what well, is interesting, this is basically portrays Ethan as nice. Yeah. Or good-ish. Even though we know he tried to kill Charlie. It, it just, it's a very interesting it just way to do it. It just further establishes the others as pretty much a cult. That, that's, yeah. That's really what they are. They, they believe everything they do is is justified, yeah. you know, means to an end, and that they have everyone's best intentions at heart, even though they'll stop at nothing to accomplish it. They're like, well, as long as you don't interrupt us, we'll be nice. But if you try to get out in our way, well, we'll have to use force. And then we'll go back to being a nice, fun little thing. Pretty much. Um, and then we can see all kinds of stuff. You get the Mr. Friendly. Um <laughs> Without his beard. Without his beard. For the first the, time, I think. Yeah, right? I think so. And then you see the beard, and you're just like... I remember the first time I saw that, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I, I wonder how many people, like, rewatched that and compared the voice to, uh, like, cause, you know... Oh, to, you the, the, to the... the previous version that yeah. he had been if they had put the pieces together about who he was. Light him up! Yeah. Um, Let's see. Is there anything more about the, the Claire Hatch... Um, like Dharma, I think that. Well, I think there's Alex in there. Alex, you got to talk about Alex. Yeah, the the great moment of recognition, and we were wondering if they were just going to leave it hanging. But I was, I was glad Claire actually put the pieces together because otherwise, I think there were, there would have been a lot of lost theorists that would have called it. When, ahead of them. And now I just thought about you know earlier in the episode, Russo was basically ready to have a Kate shooter. You, you, you know, she's done, yeah. and this is kind of the mini arc. Then she finds, oh wait, I, my daughter's still there, and she's, and she's, a she's nice good. Person. She's a yeah. good person. Yeah. 
So that, that's we're true. good. We're good people, Claire. <laughs> well, better than them, anyway. Well, I believe that's what the yeah what Ethan yeah. says. We're good people. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they, everyone believes are good people until they start beating each other up. Yeah, in what's, the show. What's, what, what's the, that they say about the road to hell? With good intentions. And yeah, all. pretty much. Let's talk about uh, Henry Gale. Oh, Henry Gale! In this episode, every line he delivers, <laughs> uh, the whole sequence. Echo is wins every scene he's in. Yeah, basically. And, but I would that, like to have seen uh, the one character. More scenes with Echo and Ben later on would have been interesting. Like by the time season four, Echo would have just been done. He's yeah, like no, no, yeah. That scene between those two is fast. First of all, because Echo comes in there as fr- as a, as, a, <laughs> as, a, as poor as Henry Yale having just been tortured like the day before, seeing this bi- this big huge guy walk in probably was not uh, thinking op- yeah, <laughs> thinking optimistic thoughts. Um, but then that dialogue and i think echo is really confessing and you know asking forgiveness for but at the same time he totally believes ben is with the other side like yeah. he kind of has this like yeah you know i could do this anytime you know yeah. i could i could kill again i don't want to but i could <laughs> <laughs> it, it's interesting maybe just my own interpretation but when you watch henry gale's face you feel like he might actually appreciate the guy echo Echoes honesty. Honesty and confessing because, I mean, those are good people he lost. Yeah. I mean, Goodwin and... and, and you yeah, know. You, you get the sense that he didn't... He wasn't really acting in his reactions. Most of the time he's acting when he's there, but there... You, I don't know. It, it, might be be, our, it might be our interpretation of, this. of the scene. It's entirely yeah. possible, but, you know, it works. Don't tell him what the beeping's for. What is it for? <laughs> 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 and then we bring in the whole... Uh, the beginning of Ben manipulating... Yeah, I, I I wondered when they like you know when they fir- he first brought up the whole Dostoevsky and Hemingway being jealous thing. I was like, wow, that's really interesting foreshadowing. And then they brought it back at the very end of the episode. Well, it's interesting because even I mean Ben feels that way also. He does. Yeah, it's like they both are uh, constantly trying to prove themselves to, to the to, island to be the yeah <laughs> to the island to be the the superior guru or yeah. or leader or whatever. And the end is not either one. No, it's early. Yeah. <laughs> he's Hurley never. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Everyone loves Hurley. Did you catch which Dostoevsky book? That was made? Brother Karazma. Was it? Okay. okay. Which is all about guilt, whether a person is guilty or not guilty and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, my, that, I, but that would be my guess is why they put it in there, you know, because, well, Dostoevsky is ambiguous and 10,000 themes all around, but it also has the whole theme of, you know, if there's no God, everything is permissible. So I don't know if that's another deal or not. Mm. But, yeah, possibly. So... Would you agree that uh, yes? <laughs> that's going, that's I'm, I'm not actually. Hemingway. I like I like to harass Hemingway. I've not actually read much Hemingway, <laughs> but no, Dostoevsky wins. <laughs> well, you did, and name- it makes me feel even better that Hemingway thought so too. <laughs> you did name your son after him, so well, I'm not terribly yeah, surprised. So, there you go. Yep, Hemingway Hayden. No, <laughs> <laughs> no Theodore Hayden is actually. That's not the non-joke. <laughs> Any, anyone else? There's other people in the room tonight. Anyone want to comment? We have uh, Zach and Brianna. Um, is this the first time married on the podcast? Um, they were here last time, weren't oh, they? We were. One time you were, yeah. Star Wars. I was, I was so asleep that one. Yeah. <laughs> Any comments? I know Brianna is a, is a, knows season two quite well, right? We need more Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was well, wondering if he was going to show up in this episode, but he never did. So what do you, what do you feel... Brianna, when Ethan says, oh, he's fine. I let him go back after we... Uh, I'm thinking she's on some hardcore drugs. <laughs> she was very drugged up. Yes. Wouldn't be the last... And won't be for the last time she <laughs> messed up on the show. Oh. Poor yeah. Claire. I, f- I feel really bad for her. All right. I guess... Is that all we've got? Well, for this episode, yes. Yes. We got time for another yeah. one? Yeah. Let's do it then. All right. Bye. So, we just finished The Whole Truth. Yes, a, del- a back-to-back baby episode. <laughs> yeah, how about that? The theme tonight. Which we were just talking about, son and babies, and this episode is all about that. Yes. It's very interesting the way they kind of leave it ambiguous about whether son actually did sleep with the other yeah, guy Yeah, I was just thinking not. that I think we had an answer at some point. Yeah. But... Which I thought she did, but the baby actually is Jen's, if I remember Something right. like that, but... Um, because I, I seem to remember Juliet taking Son to, I think maybe the staff we were just at. Something like that. Doing some sort of test. Anyway. Well, it's funny because it's called The Whole Truth, but there's a lot of things you're just like, 
They just you know they leave that open ended. They leave the if the, the balloon, balloon is actually there open ended. So the the writers are having lots of fun with us. <laughs> this is that I mean that's kind of quintessential lost. So we're like yes, we'll give you the whole truth. Dot dot dot. Was this a Lemon It was. Cube? It was not. Oh, okay. It almost feels like one, <laughs> doesn't it, that way? Especially the, the end with Ben. Oh, maybe we'll... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't we'll know. We'll go there yet, but... Yeah. Um, let's see. Sun and Jen are still one of the show's cutest couples. Yeah. Anyone want to disagree with that? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. They're wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought it, it was interesting. I was just thinking this time how they set it up where the beginning's supposed to be all romantic and then kind of just falls to pieces. And then the end of the episode actually... It's comes sincerely, actually, yeah, yeah, it comes back together. Mm-hmm. There's so many of those, these scripts are so wonderfully balanced that way, uh-huh. and for as many moving pieces as they have. Really nice use of Rose and Bernard. In yes. this. I, I'm always happy to see them, but it was nice in this, for one, just after seeing Sun and Jen fighting like they had in a lot of season one, and then to see Rose and Bernard, who obviously love each other, but, you know... Couples fight, right? I, forgot, I don't even know what day it is. It's Saturday, Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> I love that well, and then pretty soon we get their episode. Yeah, it is coming up before too long. Here, yeah, right? but it's, it's, it's season two somewhere. We only got two discs left. So yeah, that's true. Well, SOS I think is the name of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the the, the sun gin was the flashback was nice. Yeah, the, basic flashback. Um, I don't know that I have a whole lot to add to it. Well, speaking of babies, I guess. I went through in here since last episode. We never talked about the vaccination. I figure out for Claire. Okay. Do we need to mention that at all? I don't know. What, well, is it something real? I mean, that's a whole issue that confused a lot of people back in the day. Yeah, and it's not one that I feel gets talked about a whole lot because it seems like there are some cases. Well, we know the reason. The reason that people are haven't been able to give birth to babies is more to do with the incident, incident than yeah. anything. My guess is because Claire came from off island and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, or yeah, or because she's a candidate, maybe. They, maybe maybe she, that's they, maybe that's. I just wanted to throw too. it out there real quick because we didn't mention it all. But yeah, I don't need an answer. Well, but there is still some question about the whole what Rousseau thought was an infection. Yeah, and, you know, Rousseau you can't trust her words, but obviously Ethan thought it was real. Yeah, well, Ethan thought something was. I mean, he worked with Juliet. Yeah, but I, say babies. I'd be really cu- well. They didn't really know what they were doing. Like, I don't think they even had an explanation yeah, for why. That's true. For why Claire lived, honestly. Yeah, and that, they probably thought they were doing some sort of actual medical treatment to deal with that. And then there's and because then this episode we have more uh, island baby magic because oh yeah because you shouldn't be able to conceive yeah even, and unless like, unless you're reading it as the other guy which I think they eventually is which other guy oh oh but actually. I think they eventually. They eventually get rid of that. Yeah, but right like, at this point in the game, you'd be yeah, you'd be suspicious. whatever bald headed man, whatever his name is. I, I think it's a strong candidate for that they were able to conceive because of well, you know, you could do either way, either because they were candidates or because island magic. I think island magic. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Then got Anne Lucy. Oh, the the fighting between that um, Ben and Locke. That <laughs> not Ben, Locke, Locke and Jack. That Locke. Ben got started. Yeah, Locke and Jack are a little too concerned about Jack and Locke. <laughs> Which I'm, I love that it's obvious to everyone else. <laughs> and, and Lucia's there. He, she gets the map, and Saeed's ready to kill her, kill Ben mm-hmm. for the first time. And Charlie's like, "Yeah, I get to be a part of this." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just being kind of all swarmy and stuff. Then I think we need we have to talk about that last scene. Then oh, it's it's a great dialogue from. From Ben. I mean, I think this is probably one of those moments that the writers realized they needed to keep this actor around. Well, because I remember they said they, they were going to use him, and if they liked him, they'd keep him, make him actually the leader of the others. And if not, he would just be another. Yeah. Well, then it's, <laughs> what is it? And Michael Emerson is just great. Yeah. That line, like, well, if I was another, I wouldn't send him to an actual balloon. I would send him to, it just. <laughs> you guys got any milk? <laughs> It's such a great episode ending, and a great makes it for a great cliffhanger too. Yeah, because they're like, well, ah. <laughs> yeah, they, because they they find the balloon, I believe, next episode. I think they do. But I mean, Ben established his backstory very, very well. He knew yeah. all the ins and outs of who his character was. I cannot remember, and maybe we talked about it the last time. Did he plan to get captured or not? He wants to get Jack. I mean, that's his plan. Yes, I don't know. My first inclination is to say yes, but you can't really plan for Rousseau, so... Maybe not. Maybe they wasn't planning to get captured by her. Because Rousseau just causes everything crazy. She makes everything crazy. Yeah. She amps everything up to 
11. Yeah. Um, she's the wild card in an already chaotic island state. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I love, and I don't see, I just say, like, people don't like me very much. <laughs> but it, it's, good to, it's good to speak the truth. <laughs> the whole truth. <laughs> so, I like her as a character, but yeah, she's... Well, at this point in the season, most people probably didn't care for her much at yeah, all. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> all right, anyone, any other comments from the peanut gallery? Really good? Okay. You guys still like peanuts? Still Come, you you, make, you got to make your... your 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 uh, Charlie defense there. Oh well, I I appreciated some some Charlie's screen time. <laughs> we'll say they find all these things on the island, yet Anna Lucia can't find a full shirt. To wear. <laughs> I think she doesn't care to find a full shirt. Because son's son's wearing a very nice clean red shirt. That's true. Well, half the time Kate can't find a shirt that fits. That's it. not as. Good. And Lucia doesn't even care. I don't think though. <laughs> don't, also, we have just because you have um, Sun and Hurley meet up in the jungle. That's a great scene. Is that a, is that a future plot point? Hurley having a secret stash. Yeah, dude? I think so. Because okay. he, you have the Invisible Dave guy coming soon. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, yeah. so it's interesting how they constantly have these little scenes that set up an episode or two. I mean, it's very clever setups. Yeah. They're not obvious except in hindsight. They definitely have, like, some of the, some idea, big ideas for each character in the season. And and they, like, it's like, okay, we're going to do this thing with this character, so let's tease it yep. for a few episodes before we actually get to it. But anyway, that's been uh, the Lost Rewatch on the Weekly Hijack. Yep, we're through uh, this four. This four, so of season two. So make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes. Let's see, it's on your old dot com, blogspot.com, mm -hmm. iTunes, Stitcher, Stitcher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. and YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. Yep. There it is. <laughs> iTunes. We're professionals. <laughs> we, we've done this for a while. Stitcher. Stitcher. I said that. All right. <laughs> I All right, we're leaving. Okay, this is Tim. This is Nick. Bye. Got milk. <laughs>